During the test, you will have access to a variety of tools to help you navigate and answer questions. This video provides a quick tutorial of where these tools are located and how they can be used. At the top left, you will find the Zoom tool. Click Zoom In to make the text larger and easier to read. To make the text smaller, click Zoom Out. The back and next buttons are used to move between pages of the test. Please do not use the back button of the browser located in the top left corner. This will take you out of the test. The icons here are related to the specific test question. The icon with the letter I can be clicked to view directions that will help you complete the test question. It will show you how to move objects on the screen or where to type in your answer. To close this window and go back to the test, click the X located here. The speech icon can be clicked to open a notepad that can be used to take notes during the test. Save the notes by clicking Save and Close. The flag icon can be used to mark the item for review, in case you feel like coming back to it later. If you see the delete button here, you can use it to erase your answer when you need to change it. Here's how it works. Click the delete button and you will notice the mouse pointer change to a plus sign. Now you can click on your answers to delete them. Finally, click the delete button once again. If you see the calculator, this means you can use it to help you solve the problem. If you forget what these icons are used for during the test, you can click the question mark in the corner to bring up the help guide. This will show you all of the possible tools and how they can be used. To close the help guide and go back to the test, click the X in the top right corner. To scroll around the page, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard. Move up, down, left, and right. For some test questions, you will be asked to drag items across the page. To drag an item, click and hold the left mouse button, swipe the mouse pad to drag, and let go of the left mouse button to drop the item. Or, you can left click on an item once, move your mouse to the desired location, and left click again to place the item. At other times, you may be asked to write a complete sentence for your answer. Left click into the field provided and simply type in your sentence using the letter keys on the keyboard. For multiple choice questions, simply left click on the desired letter or checkbox. In order to navigate to previous questions, simply click the back button here. Or, at the top of the page, you will see the question you are currently on. Click the drop down menu and click the question number you wish to access.